Yes, people, what's good? It's your boy, Professor Banner, a.k.a. Hulk. You're watching Professor Banner TV. Before we get into this, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, all of them things there, man. Let's help keep building the channel grow, you get me? We've got a lot of good stuff coming up, but you know me, I'm always going to keep it a bit about battle rap, you get me? And we've got to incorporate some battle rap shit. So without further ado, I'm going to get into one of the last prediction cards of the year. Haven't been doing as much of these. If you haven't been checking out the channel, go check it out. Obviously, I've been doing the podcast and that doing it up. So I've been doing predictions on the podcast, but I ain't really uploaded a proper actual separate prediction video. So here we are. I'm not sure if there's any events in January, but I haven't seen any announcements yet that I know of. So this is the first event that I've seen of the year that's been announced so far. And it's February the 24th. The Engine Rooms, Unit 30, Eleanor Street, London, E34UR. And you can get tickets from www.premierbattles.club. And the card is Short Circuit. I believe they've done a Short Circuit before, so I don't know if this is Short Circuit 2 or whatever, but it just says Short Circuit. Maybe they ain't doing all of the numbers and that no more, you get me? Just keep it a series name and that's it, innit? But yeah, so Live Rap Battles and that, bam. Doesn't have a price, but obviously if you're interested, go to premierbattles.club and check out the tickets and that. they got a tryout. Um, I hate the flipping phrase tryout. Always have done. I think it sounds stupid, especially for something like battle rap. Like some of us are actually serious fucking artists and rappers and man are doing a tryout like it's a cheerleading squad or something, bro. Like it's always been a weird name to me. But I've had to get used to a lot of shit in battle rap over the years to be a part of it because a lot of it just seemed a bit weird and random. Like the phrase tryout. Who the fuck calls something a tryout, you know? But yeah, so these lot have called it um, new talent intake. So I like the way they flipped it up still. Um, and that is, they got two of them. They got Red Rum versus Pagan and Miss Ink versus Kawasaki. I ain't heard of any of these before. I think the name Miss Ink sounds familiar, but I ain't seen or heard any of these guys rap or anything, so. Always good to see newcomers though, so good luck to them. Obviously, I can't predict none of them battles. It's what it is. At the bottom of the card, we've got Quicksilver versus Wavy John. I'll be honest, I ain't really seen Quicksilver. I'm going to have to give that one to Wavy John just because I've actually seen him battle. Um, and he's got some funny bits and that, you get me? He's not the most amazing battler, but he's definitely got some good funny bits and that he's made me laugh a few times. Enjoyable to watch, you get me? So hopefully he progresses and that, you get me? And you see more of him. Then we've got Terminal versus Dub T. I'm going to give that one to Terminal, you know? He's a bit of a veteran still. Dub T's a bit new. Again, I've only seen bits of him. But what I've seen of him, I don't know, I reckon Terminal can handle that still. You get me? Um, and then we got the, the the return of the return. We got Roars versus Dojo. Roars is what second battle in seven years or something. He, he ain't battled in seven years, and then he done a battle the other day, and now he's doing this one. So big up Roars for coming outside and being active. Got to get you on the channel soon. Um, Roars versus Dojo. You can check out my one rounder versus Dojo and don't flop. I'm definitely giving that one to Roars Frio. I think that's a bit of a mismatch, if I'm honest with you. Like, Rose is off the back of a win. I'd say, cool, Sean Cray had the Joey Shepard's Bush bar, which might have been bar of the battle. But I think in terms of an actual rap battle, Rose won that. Um, And yeah, Dojo, I feel like he's still got to get comfortable. I don't want to judge him too much because the posh, posh style rap ain't really my cup of tea. Um... You know, and when it's done right, like, you know, with Shuffle T and Marlo, I always say it, them man are the goats, but they do it in a way where they're putting you down without being tough guys, without being street or trying to be street unless they do it sarcastically. But like, I think Dojo still just got to find his own lane a little bit. Um, he's got a good few punchlines, but probably like would come across better said by someone else. Um, but I do appreciate his writing. I just think that Rose has got that 3-0. Then 
Then we got Red Wolf versus the Buck. I'm not gonna lie. I do like the Buck. He's on the come up. But I think I'm gonna give that one to Red Wolf. I think he's gonna have three polished rounds. Ain't seen him outside in a little minute. Um specifically since earlier on in the year, I think. April was it? Pardon me. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah. I feel like he's just gonna come very polished, as he always does, to be fair. And then at the close to the top of the card. We've got Frost versus Carlton Shanks. I'm not going to lie. This was meant to be booked for institution. I'll rewind to that. I messaged them about a year ago or something about it. And um, Frost said he had shit on or whatever. And then institution messaged them, more or less locked it in. And then Frost was like, oh, I didn't think I locked this in. Um, actually, I, I can't do it. Um... So yeah, uh, Shanks ended up battling Cooper and now it's been announced on Premier Battles. You get me? It is what it is. No shade to, to Premier Battles. It's always a shame when, you know, you get battlers that you really want to see them battle. You really want to make the battle happen. I'm a person, I'm proud of a lot of the battles I've put on in it because I do see them as my creations and my ideas and shit. And, you know, I get a, a vision of two battles, two battlers kind of going at it and thinking, yeah, that's going to be a good battle or no, that'll be a dead battle. Um, so, yeah, obviously it's a bit disappointing that it ends up on another platform, but it is what it is. Do you get me? As long as it's a good battle. And then man are happy to do it, then it's all good. You get me? Um, but I'm going to give that one to Frost. Bro, he just basically free old Rivers in a one-rounder. Frost is very hit and miss. Shanks has got a lot to prove in this battle. Um, very good style clash. But I think I'm going to give it to Frost. Um, if he comes on point, oh, it's always hit and miss. Then we've got the main event, Slim Buck versus RX Southside. I'm not going to lie, I feel like... Slimbuck just had two big battles on the biggest events of the year. I get it. Obviously, a battle is a battle. He's building his name in the UK. I feel like they should have gave him someone a little bit bigger, a little bit more seasoned, a little bit more experienced. I feel like RX Southside's a little bit new. I know Slimbuck's kind of new to our scene and new in general, but I feel like he's hung with the big boys already. Do you know what I mean? Um, for me, this is like... Slimbuck's third battle in the UK and it's his smallest battle in terms of look and it's probably RX's say, I don't know, I just want to guess and say ninth battle and it's his biggest look. So um, I'm going to give that one to Slimbuck, I'm not going to lie, but big up RX Southside. I hope that he does put on um, and, you know, after this gets more looks and becomes one of the names that man mentioned when, when talking about these kind of main event battles. Um, but for me at the moment, it does look a bit like a little bit of a mismatch, if I'm honest with you, as a couple of them on the card. But it is what it is. Sometimes, you know what? Man want to go and see someone's head get taken off. So mismatches are good, in my opinion, sometimes. You get me? Man want to go and see what I go on. See who can hang, who can't. And then you get disappointed. Like, not disappointed, but you get proven wrong sometimes. And that's good as well. It's not disappointing. It's good. Do you get me? Because... Bear battlers being sick in the UK is what man need in it. So when man say that I don't rate certain people or I don't think they should be in this level or whatever, it's not a disrespect. Hopefully they prove me wrong, step up to the plate and be big, you get me? But yeah, man, I've been Professor Banner, aka Hulk. This is Professor Banner TV. As I said, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, all of the good stuff. Help me support the things. And I'll be back soon with some more podcasts, some more predictions, some more recaps and all of the other good stuff. Tell your mama said safe.